Welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. My name is Sam, and I'm gonna be leading you through a toning and sculpting yoga workout. So this is exactly as it sounds. We're really gonna focus on strength in today's practice, especially in the glutes, the hamstrings, the core, and even a little bit into the shoulders and upper back. So lots of great stuff. And we're actually gonna start lying down on our mat. So you can go ahead and do that now. Oh, I should mention as well, they're a little bit off camera right now, but you will need two blocks for a flow a little bit later on in our practice. And for now, we don't need them. You can just place them towards the front of your mat so they're ready when we get there. So once you've got your blocks set up, your mat set up, we're just gonna lie ourselves down onto the mat and just hug your knees into your chest. Nice and easy here. Maybe you wanna rock a little bit side to side. And let's just take the knees in a little circle towards the right. So just starting to wake up those hip joints and then reverse that, just a little circle to the left. Nice and easy. And let's hug them into your chest in the center one more time and on an exhale, just lifting your head up in towards your knees. And we'll release down, place the soles of your feet onto the floor, right in line with your hip bones so they're not too wide. Pushing up into bridge pose here so your arms are relaxed down by your sides, press your shoulders into the mat, and now press into the soles of your feet, push your hips up, finding a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. So we're not arching in this bridge here. You really wanna squeeze your glutes, push into the feet, making that nice straight line here. And then on an exhale, let's release, take it down back to the mat. Inhale, push all the way up, finding your bridge. Exhale, take it down. Again, inhale, push all the way up. Exhale, place it back down. And last one, inhale up. Let's hold here at the top of your bridge, squeezing those glutes, squeezing your pelvic floor muscles, feeling your abs engage. And now put more weight into your left foot, come up onto the ball of your foot on your right side and maybe lift that right leg, maybe stretching it all the way up to the sky, holding here, feel that fire through your left side. And we'll release, placing that right leg back down, but keep your hips lifted so we're maintaining this bridge. Now come up to the ball of your foot on your left foot. And again, pressing into the right side so we can maybe lift that left leg up Holding here, push the hips even higher. A few more breaths. And we'll place it back down and release your hips down onto the mat. From here, extending your left leg out, right leg comes into your chest, pulling it in. And from here, let's take that right leg, stretching it up, just stretching into your right hamstring. And let's just point and flex the right foot here. And you might feel a little bit of activation and a little bit of stretch through your calf as we do this pointing and flexing. And now from here, I'd like you to point all the way through the foot and you're gonna push your leg away from you as if you were trying to lower it down to meet your other leg, but your arms are gonna stop. So we're coming into a dynamic form of this stretch here. So you're pushing, pushing, pushing into your hands and then we release. And as we release, try to pull that leg a little bit closer to you. So we're putting that muscle into a little bit of tension by pushing and then releasing it and relaxing to go even further into the stretch. Let's do that twice more. So we're gonna push the leg into your hands. Push, push, push. It might not look like we're doing that much from the outside, but you wanna feel a lot of tension between your leg and your hands. And let's release, just pull it a little bit closer towards you if you can. Last time, pushing into your hands. Push, 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 really find that resistance. And release, pull it in a little bit closer. From here, just lifting your head and shoulders off the mat, lifting your left leg off the mat, splitting your legs away from each other, maybe adding your hands, reaching towards that left toe, splitting the legs, and from here we're gonna switch. Left leg reaches up, right leg reaches down. Again, switch. And once more, switch. Left leg is now high. 
Grab that left leg, release your upper body and your right leg back down onto the mat. Let's go ahead and flex and point through that left leg now. Going as slow or as fast as you want with this here. Doing what feels good for you. And now stretching through that foot, coming into those dynamic pushes and pulls. So let's push the left leg into your hands. Really finding that resistance, pushing as hard as you can. Your hands are resisting. And let's release, pulling that leg in a little bit farther, relaxing that hamstring. Your leg might shake a little bit, but that's a good thing, I promise. And here we go again, pushing into your hands as hard as you can. Push, push, push. And let's release, pulling it in a little bit closer. As we do this, try to keep your right leg engaged as well so it's not floppy underneath you. We're keeping energy through that bottom leg. And last time with this top leg, we push. It's trying to meet the right leg down on the mat, but we're not letting it. Push, 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 and we release. Pulling that leg in as close as you can. And from here, lifting the upper body and the lower leg. This time, let's add the arms up overhead into a fifth position. And from here, we're switching, splitting the legs. Switch, split, switch, split, and we release. Let's bring your forehead to your knees here, rocking a little bit, releasing your head and coming into some more core activation. You're gonna rock yourself up, finding Navasana or boat pose right away. So you can have a variation like me where you're holding the back of your legs, or if you'd like to progress, you're gonna try and straighten the legs and add the arms. It's definitely more challenging for your balance. You'll definitely feel your sit bones on the mat. Now from wherever you are, maybe you wanna lower slightly and pull yourself back up. Let's do that twice more, lower, pull it up. One more time, you got this, lower, pull it back up. And let's cross at the ankles. We're gonna take ourselves back to downward facing dog. And take a second to catch your breath here. Maybe paddle through the feet. Twist your hips side to side. And we'll bend through both knees, sending your hips back and stretch. One more time like that, bend and stretch. Very good from here. We're gonna come into a little bit of a different flow. You're gonna bend your knees just like we did, but lower them so that your back comes parallel to the floor, but your knees are still hovering here. So we're not relaxing, we're engaging the core. We have a straight neutral spine. And then you're gonna push from your feet forward finding plank, engage your glutes, engage your core, push the floor away from you. And then from there, hips go back, finding your down dog. Let's do that again. So we lower the knees, finding this hovering position with the knees, pushing forward to plank and take it back, finding your downward dog. Let's incorporate the breath into this. So let's inhale, lowering the knees, exhale, push, take it to plank, Take an inhale here, and on our next exhale, we push back, downward dog, one more, just like that, inhale, hover the knees, exhale, push, plank, inhale, and exhale, push it back, find your down dog, and let's take the knees down to the floor, all the way onto your mat, and just walk your hands back slightly so they're right underneath your shoulders here. Reactivating the core once more, we're coming into bird dog. So you're gonna take your right arm and your left leg and just extend them out in front of you. And as we start to work through the limbs, make sure we're not arching through the back. You wanna keep your core nice and strong, pulling your belly button in towards the back of your spine. So from here, let's inhale, reaching the right arm, left leg in opposite directions. Keep that left hip spinning down towards the floor. Exhale, just touch those limbs down onto the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, touch. Twice more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, touch. Really reaching as if you're trying to touch the walls in front and behind you. Inhale, lift. Hold here. Reach, reach, reach. Feel that fire through the belly. 
Now on an exhale, you're gonna bring your elbow and your knee together to touch underneath you. You can contract, pull through the spine. Inhale, re-extend, twice more. Exhale in, inhale, extend. Last time, exhale in, and inhale, re-extend. Place those legs back down, finding your tabletop pose. And maybe just give your hips a nice little shake side to side here. And we're gonna go ahead and do that onto the other side. So this time it's your left arm, right leg reaching out. Feel that belly, your spine is gonna stay nice and neutral. Here we go, inhale, lift, exhale, place. Again, inhale, lift, exhale, place. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Keep that right hip spinning towards the floor, stays parallel, hold here. We've lifted, we're reaching, that back foot is flexed, pushing the floor away from you on that right hand. And now we exhale, elbow and knee together, contract. Inhale, re-extend to your neutral spine. Don't overextend here. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach. Last one. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach. And place your hand and foot back down onto the mat. Let's just cycle through cat and cow here on all fours. So we're gonna inhale, working through the spine. Look up towards the sky. Exhale, curve. And feel free as we do this to move your hips around. Maybe move your shoulders around. Maybe bend and stretch through the elbows. Just anything that's gonna intensify this moment of stretch and this moment to catch your breath here. So keeping the body engaged. Let's do two more. Move at your own pace, cat and cow. And maybe you're on your last one. Nice, all right. So we're gonna move into scapular push-ups. So instead of bending through the elbows, we're actually going to sink through the shoulders and then you push the floor away from you and your shoulder blades wrap around your rib cage. As we do this though, you wanna keep your core strong so we're not arching and then pushing. Your core stays strong, it's really isolated in the shoulders as we do this. You can keep your knees on the floor so we stay in this quadruped position or to add an extra challenge, you can tuck your toes and hover your knees just like we did in that flow earlier. So I'm gonna hover here and we're gonna do 10 of those scapular push-ups. So first feel that your shoulder blades are wrapping around and then we're gonna sink and push. Good, sink and push. Keep your belly button pulling in and push. This is number four and push. Try to keep those elbows straight and push. Six, push. Seven, push, three more, you got this. Eight, push, keep those knees hovering if that's what you're doing. Last one, 10, push, you got it. Let's push back up to your downward facing dog. Catch your breath, shake out your head. Whoo! And you're welcome to stay in this down dog or if you wish, take a flow. So inhaling forward to plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, and exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. From here, just lifting your heels, walk yourself forward nice and easy to the top of your mat. Your hips can stay hip width distance apart, and let's just take a little ragdoll fold and Release the upper back here. Release your neck. And let's take a plie through both knees and stretch. Send your tailbone to the sky. Again, plie and stretch. Now this is where we might want our blocks. I'm gonna do this first. Actually, no, I'll use my blocks, I've decided. I'm gonna use them on the second height here, just underneath your hands, because what we're gonna come into 
is just four rises or releves onto your demi point, onto the balls of your feet here. So we push, lifting the heels, engage all the way through those legs, send your tailbone to the sky and lower. Again, we lift the heels all the way up, place your weight right in between your first and second toes and lower, twice more like that. Feel your belly still engaged here, pulling your belly button in, engaging all through the back of your legs. And we lower, last one, take it up. And lower those heels with resistance so we don't plop back down onto the mat. Take your blocks now onto the highest level and you're gonna hold one in both hands, really grip them here. And now step your left leg back into basically like a pyramid pose. And we're gonna do some twists in this pose using your blocks. But as we do that, I want you to make sure that your hips stay totally square and we're gonna stay fully engaged through both legs. So take your right hand with that block right beside your right foot. Left arm is gonna reach up. So this is very similar to a triangle pose, but I'm not twisting my hips open to the side. My hips are square to the front of my mat. It's just my upper body that's twisting here. And now from here, keep the legs straight. Engage those obliques, engage your hamstrings to pull yourself up. My hips are still forward, I'm in a full twist. And now I'm gonna twist to the opposite side, keeping those hips square and placing that left hand with the block down. So now we're in the opposite twist on the other side. And you might feel a different stretch through your legs. Keeping your knees pulled up here. Let's incorporate the breath. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Keep that left hip plugging forward. Exhale, take it back down. I think that breath pattern was a little weird. Let's try that again. Inhale, pushing yourself up. Exhale, twist. Let's take another inhale to hold here. And then we exhale, place it down. We found it, there we go. Once more, inhale, push it up. Keep those legs strong. This will test your balance. Exhale, find your twist. Take an extra inhale here. And exhale, take it back down. You can bring your left hand down, just dropping that block in front. And now from here, keep your body forward. You're gonna twist your back foot. So now it's parallel to the short edge of your mat. Open your left shoulder up, finding a full triangle pose with your hands still on that block. And then maybe lifting your left arm up overhead. So now we're, st we're stretching into our side body, into those obliques that we just worked. And you really wanna feel now that your hips are opening up. So we're open to the side of the room here instead of the front of our mat. And let's fold that left arm back in, turn your toes, and we're gonna step back up to the top of the mat. We're repeating those four rises. I'm gonna switch the head of my blocks once again. Keeping your core nice and strong, back of the legs engaged as we lift up. One, lower down. Again, two, lower down. As I mentioned, as we come up three, we want to lower with resistance so the heels don't plop onto the mat. Lift up, nice and slow, take it down. Now, grabbing the highest height of your block, stepping your right foot back this time, and now you're gonna take your left hand with the block on the inside of your left foot, and right arm reaches up, that right hip stays square. So this is a big, big twist through the upper body. And just like we did on that first side, keep the legs pulled up and engaged. We inhale, pushing up to stand, keep that hip rotating. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale to hold. Exhale, place the right hand down, left arm up, finding this opposition twist. Take a moment here, feel that stretch. Keep engaged through those legs. Inhale, push yourself up, fight for that balance. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, hold here, and then exhale, take it down. Keep that right hip plugging forward. We're square to the front of our mat. And last time on both sides, we inhale, pull up, exhale, twist, inhale to hold, and we exhale, take it back down. Oh, try and open up that left shoulder as much as you can. And inhale, take it up. Exhale, twist, keep that right hip plugging. 
and exhale. Take it all the way down. Now from here, you can release the right block. We won't need it anymore, so it can go all the way off to the side. And then you're gonna rotate your right foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Keep those hips now open to the side, opening your right shoulder up, adding the right arm up to the sky, finding our full triangle pose, maybe bringing that arm up beside the ear. So you wanna feel really flat through the body. We're not curving at all here. And you can put a little bit of weight on that block to help you. And let's release the right arm back down towards the mat, bending ourselves through back to the top of your mat. This time, let's bring the big toes together, heels apart. Your blocks can just go off to the side. And we're gonna bend the knees, send the hips back, lifting up to chair pose here. Make sure you can still see your toes underneath you. Engage those glutes. Feel strong through the upper body. The back is straight, the core is pulling in. Neck is long, shoulders are down. And from here, we lower the hips all the way onto your mat, finding boat pose, just like we did at the beginning of class. Whatever variation you like here, if you need to bend your knees, grab a hold of your thighs, you can do that as well. We'll hold here for two more breaths. Maybe you're shaking a little bit, but that's okay. It means we're working hard. And from here, you're gonna cross the opposite foot in front to take you into your downward dog. You might need to readjust, walk yourself back a little bit. And again, you're welcome to stay here or come into a flow. So we're gonna come forward to plank on an inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, take it into your down dog. Take a couple of breaths here. And on your next inhale, let's reach the right leg all the way up to the sky. You can open up that hip. Find that long extension. We just did a lot of work engaging those legs. So try and feel that engagement, that reach through your back toe. And now we'll bend through the knee and you're gonna imagine there's a weight on your foot pulling you over. Finding wild thing on the right. So pushing your hips up just like we did in bridge pose at the beginning of class. Feel a nice long extension through the front of your hip. And bring your eyes back to your mat first to swivel yourself back around, re-extend the leg, and then place it down onto the mat. Same thing on the other side right away. So inhale, left leg up. Take a moment here to really feel that extension all the way through your toes and feel that weight bending through your left leg. The left foot pulls you over, finding wild thing on the second side. Feel that push, that activation through the glutes. One more breath. And a little bit of a different transition here. Your left arm is gonna reach up and over towards the ceiling. Your hips will sink towards the mat and then just recenter yourself. So we're coming to take a seat. And starting our cool down now, you can give the legs a nice good shake. And keeping them nice and relaxed, we're just gonna inhale both arms up. Exhale, fold forward over those legs, relaxing your neck, relaxing your shoulders, your upper body, even relaxing your legs, your knees, your ankles, your toes. Just let gravity pull you into the stretch here. So we're totally changing gears, being much more passive. Continuing to breathe. Feel that heat radiating off your body. And let's push ourselves using your hands all the way back up to take a seat. And we're gonna roll all the way down now onto your back. Coming into a nice side body stretch, we're gonna take banana. So you're gonna take your hips over to the right side of your mat and then try to re-extend your legs over to the left side of your mat. And then to continue that banana shape, you're gonna lift 
and move your upper body also to the left. I always find this pose takes a lot of adjustments for me to, to finally find it. But once you do, finding that curve through your body, you maybe want to bring your arms up overhead, grabbing onto opposite elbows. And to intensify the stretch, if you wish, you can cross your right leg over your left. This is a yin yoga pose, but we're incorporating it into this cool down after that really intense power flow just to find length through the side body. We did a lot of work on the obliques in those standing twists. So just really give in to gravity here. Make sure that both of your hips are square so we're not lifting the right hip up off of the mat. Take one more breath. And to come out of this one, if your, if your legs were crossed, you're going to uncross them. And then if your arms were overhead, you're gonna bring your arms back. Then just recenter your body and right away we'll go to the left. So your shoulders and legs will go to the right. Hips will go to the left. And again, take your time with this one. Use as many adjustments as you need. And then once you've found your curve, arms go up, grabbing opposite elbows, maybe guiding that left elbow into the stretch a little bit more, and then maybe crossing your left ankle over your right. Again, keeping both hips square onto your mat. Taking some deep breaths. And you might feel that one side feels different than from the other, which is totally normal. We'll take one more breath here, nice and deep into the belly. And releasing first from the ankles, uncrossing the legs, release the arms back down so they can help you to recenter yourself, coming right away into Shavasana. We won't be here for too, too long today, just about a minute or so. But just take this moment to thank your body for all of that hard work that it just did to carry you through that rather intense practice. And notice any buzzing happening throughout the body after all of that muscle engagement that we just did through the hamstrings, maybe through the glutes, through the core, the obliques, through your shoulder blades. And just allow your breathing to return to a normal state, your heart rate to return to a normal state. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Let your head fall from side to side. And when you're ready, rolling onto one side. Take a moment here, no rush. And then pushing yourself up to take a seat. Maybe crossing your legs. Just take a moment to ground those sit bones. Feel nice and tall through the spine really growing, finding the length, maybe closing your eyes if you wish. 
and bring your hands together in front of your heart again with gratitude, thanking yourself for stepping onto the mat today. And we'll bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this very powerful toning and sculpting yoga workout. I hope you definitely felt the burn. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go, and I will see you on the mat very soon. Have a great rest of your day.